In the early 1980s, James Heffield and Lars Ulrich met through a newspaper ad that Ulrich had placed seeking musicians to jam with. They began playing together regularly, but they struggled to find a stable lineup for their band, going through several bassists and guitarists before finally settling on Dave Mustaine as their lead guitarist and Ron McGovney as their bassist. They named their newly formed band Metal Mania and began playing shows all around L.A., and started building a following. However, tensions soon began to rise within the band. Mustaine was known for heavy drinking and erratic behavior, and McGovney's lack of commitment to the band also caused problems. In 1983, after a volatile show, Mustaine was fired from the band and was replaced by Kirk Hammett, Kirk who had been playing guitar for the band Exodus. With the addition of Hammett, Metallica began to gain even more traction. They signed with Megaforce Records and released their debut album, Kill Em All, in 1983. It was a hit with metal fans and helped cement Metallica's status as one of the leading bands in the metal scene. Over the next few years, Metallica continued to grow and evolve, releasing several more successful albums, including Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Justice for All. During this time, they went through a few more lineup changes with Jason Newstead joining as their bassist in 1986, replacing Cliff Burton. Newstead made a significant contribution to the band's four studio albums, from And Justice for All to 1997's Reload, and appeared in 11 albums of the band, including compilation and live albums. On September 27, 1986, Cliff Burton passed away in a tragic bus accident. The band members were awakened in the early morning hours, during a European tour when the bus began to careen from side to side. Burton, who had been sleeping in the preferred top bunk, was thrown outside the window when the bus left the road and flipped over on its side. Attempts were made to rescue him from beneath the bus, and they did so by trying to do it lifting the bus with a crane. But the crane slipped, and the bus crashed down on top of the 24-year-old musician a second time. After learning of Burton's death, former Metallica guitarist Dave Mustaine wrote Megadeth's In My Darkest Hour, and fellow metal pioneers Anthrax dedicated their Among the Living album to Cliff Burton. Burton was cremated, and his ashes were scattered at California's Maxwell Ranch. Following Burton's death, Metallica continued to evolve. Jason Newstead, he ultimately left the band in 2001. He was replaced by the current bassist Robert Trujillo. Newstead proposed that Metallica should take a year-long hiatus. He wanted to focus on his side project, Echo Brain. That proposal was rejected, causing him to quit the band. Despite these changes, Metallica has remained one of the most successful and influential heavy metal bands of all time, with their music inspiring countless musicians all over the world. They continue to tour and record new music all the way till this day. Metallica is slated to release their brand new album, their 12th studio album called 72 Seasons on April 14th, 2023, through the band's very own Black End Recordings. The 12 track 72 Seasons was produced by Greg Feidelman, with Hetfield and Ulrich clocking in at over 77 minutes. It's Metallica's first full length collection of new material since 2016. These are interesting things with JC.